Nick Koval dropped 24 points in that win over Nazareth on Friday, and he would add that and then some to his resume last night in Allentown. The Trojans came out with complete control over this one, much in part thanks to their defensive efforts, which set up for the offense and Koval to shine. He unloads a quick three before Zaire Smaltz picks up the rebound for two and a 7-5 lead in the first. Luke Spang lifted the Trojans into a 16-6 lead with a triple before Koval steals and hangs off of the rim for two and a 20-6 lead after one. Allen would score its first field goal since 646 in the first quarter and cause a couple turnovers for two to slowly inch themselves back into this game, cutting the deficit in half, trailing 34 to 14 at the break. Now coming out of the break, the Canaries were just a different team. They started the third on a 7-2 run, got the crowd going and brought the game within 10 after Darius Brandt put some emphasis on yet another turnover. Nick Koval would add two and one, part of his 35 points to stay ahead of Allen, leading 45 to 32 after three. The Canaries brought this game within eight in the fourth, led by Darrell Monroe's 24 point effort, but that's as close as they get as Parkland pulls this one out, winning 57 to 48. Allen played a heck of a second half using that full court defense to disrupt Parkland's offense and put some pressure on the Trojans. Coach Stevens happy with the result, however, saying that this adversity can only be a positive thing moving forward. I don't know if it's overconfident or just a little flat, you know, but in the second half, we didn't start the half very well. And, you know, I think it's a learning experience for our guys, really. I think it's uh, we have to put two halves together. I thought we played terrific in the first half. And the other thing I said is we're not going to get better by winning easy games all the time. So, you know, we faced a little adversity and we had to figure some things out or try to. And that's going to make us better in the long run. They really sped us up in the full court. Uh, they did play really good full court defense. They trapped a lot. Their experience a really long play, really athletic. So he disrupted a lot of things. And uh, yeah, I mean, the first half, we had a lot of energy, especially on defense. The second, we did it. But we still pulled it out, and we're just going to learn from it. Uh, at the end, the last two minutes, we didn't turn the ball over. We made free throws. So that's what we had to learn from, that we, uh, we can do it through adversity. At William Allen High School, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.